Well, here's an example of Mr Bentley's final mechanical artistry, the Lagonda V12. He became technical director of the Lagonda Company in 1935 and he was responsible for the development of the V12 engine which went into production in late 1938. A recording just doesn't do justice to the symphony so come and listen to the live performance here. If W.O. Bentley had a failing, it was he just couldn't say no and when he was asked by Alan Good, the chairman of Lagonda, to build a car in which to compete at Le Mans within six months, he did it. He used the V12 engine and re-engineered the standard Lagonda V12 chassis. The race result was extremely successful, better than they could have hoped for. Unfortunately, further activities were curtailed, of course, in 1940. This is an original Lagonda V12, originally supplied to the Bird's Custard family, and was in dilapidation until 15 years ago, when created into this form with exacting detail by a Lagonda specialist with reference to the team car. It's not a project for the faint-hearted, and is beautifully executed. Moreover, it's had recent maintenance to make it suitable for long-distance touring, and having followed this on German autobahns in a Bentley Speed 6, I can certainly vouch for that. It's a really dramatic, thrilling piece of skilled engineering and an absolute showstopper.